I think it's really critical that you create spaces where you can marry research, policy, the law, and particularly in settings where you're also focused on equity. Very often those conversations are not grounded in issues of race, class, power, uh, community. Events like this that really create conversations, varying opinions, to really grapple with those issues, but always respectful of the fact that they exist and impact communities and create spaces for those communities to engage. There is not enough cross communication among researchers, educators, practitioners about these critical issues, particularly about education in the South. And uh, Southern Education Foundation really has done a great service in sponsoring this type of conversation. I hope this is not the last of them. You have to have a Southern strategy, not a Georgia strategy, not an Arkansas strategy, not a Tennessee strategy, but a Southern strategy where you move on parallel tracks forward in these general assemblies with these policymakers to address these issues in an equitable way on the subject of education reform or funding, how we're going to pay for school. Public education works but you have to have the right people. And what I mean by the right people is, please don't ever forget, educators have to always have a seat at the table. They know what to do for kids, not because of what they read, but because of what they live on a daily basis. I just want to reemphasize the importance of the public caring about public schools. The very premise was that there were necessary mechanisms for social mobility and for engaging in democracy and democratic equity. That was the idea that no neighborhood should not have a public school that wasn't accessible to all people. When those parents send their child, they may not have everything, but they care deeply about that young person. And then we also need to remember that on the other end, there's, there's business leaders that maybe don't have any children, that their, their kids have all grown, but it's important for them to have young people that are moving up, that are going to be innovators, creators, thinkers, collaborators. Those two things of figuring out how to mesh those, that's where we need to be. So there's two forms of evidence, there's two ways that you have to persuade the judge and the jury. Testimony and it's anecdotal. Testimony of the real life experiences of people and what they see, the students, the practitioners, uh, the grassroots organizations who on a day-to-day -day basis um, live these experiences. That type of evidence is presented to a court to move the judge or the jury. If the second is anecdotal. The data, the research. What does the research show? What do the numbers show? Data is persuasive. So that's why it was so important to have researchers on this table, practitioners on this table, and students at this table to put the anecdotal and the testimony together to help inform the Southern Education Foundation.